Hey, hey, hey. Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> well, what's up, guys? Frankie Slauson here for another great Frankie Slauson Show video and uh, daily summer vlog. I don't really have a whole lot uh, to talk about today, I guess. Just uh, <laughs> kind of a boring day again. Another great boring day after our exciting day yesterday with the uh, uh, radio show vlog. And I hope more of you guys check out the, the two videos that I put up. Uh, it was a two-parter anyway. And uh, yeah, I don't know how many of you guys tuned in or if any of you guys tuned in. We, we got a few callers here and there. And it wasn't anything too exciting as far as the callers because I thought there would actually be some people that were from the YouTube community, but they're just local people. But uh, we, I will definitely be going back out there again sometime in the future. It's just uh, right now they're going to be doing some repairs at the station and uh, they're going to totally tear down the whole station because it's actually a part of the college or whatnot, Northland College, and they're going to tear it all down because it's been this way, it's looked this way for a long time and they're going to be going HD here later on this fall or yeah, it's actually in August they're going to be going HD officially so this month and next month they're going to be uh, uh, tearing everything down and rebuilding everything and bring like a brand new studio and it should be a lot a lot of fun and I can't wait they're gonna have three uh, different radio stations going on uh, and if you guys have an HD radio now I don't know if HD radio can pick up signals from just any place or whatever I think you have to be in a certain certain uh, area or whatever to pick it up but uh, we still have our our stream uh, radio northland.org anyway for the people who you know, want to listen online or whatever but uh, HD radio is supposed to make everything sound a lot clearer and sound a lot better, so I don't know. <laughs> make it sound like you're almost at the studio. But I've had the same quality with my Sirius satellite radio receiver that I have. I don't know how many of you guys have Sirius or whatever, or even XM. And to me, that j is way better than, X than FM and AM have ever sounded. So maybe it's almost close to HD radio as HD radio can get. Or as a similarity can get to an absolute sound quality, but I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, uh, what can you expect here in the upcoming days? I know for a fact that here, uh, I don't know exactly when, I'm thinking maybe on Sunday, or maybe Saturday night, I'm not too sure yet though, but I'm going to show you guys my entire wrestling DVD collection. I, w I was going to do this today, but uh, we got kind of distracted uh, at the house today, so I haven't really had a chance to do that. Uh, I'm going to show you guys every wrestling DVD that I had. I did this once before when I lived in my old apartment. And at that time I didn't have that many wrestling DVDs. I just started buying more lately and whatnot because I'm getting more involved with it. Because uh, I, I want to go down to the cities here in the fall. Uh, they're having a WWE is having their annual bragging rights pay-per-view. And uh, I want to get tickets when, the tic when I know the tickets are going on sale. Because I've never, I've been a wrestling fan for a long, long time, and I've never gone to an actual event yet. I've been a fan for over 20 years. By that time, it'll, it will be over 20 years. And I've been a fan since I was six years old, and I've seen the ups and the downs. I know everything there is to know about pro wrestling more than I do about high school wrestling. Uh, I know what's real. I know what's fake. I'm not one of those fans that believe everything that they see or whatever. I actually was surprised here on uh, this past Monday for any of you guys that watch Raw. Uh, that the NXT rookies did, you know, ended Raw in a way I never thought I'd ever see again. Kind of did it NWO style, and they ended Raw uh, very, very good with uh, the destruction of John Cena and and finally making a statement. And I don't mind John Cena, but I'm not a huge John Cena fan. I mean, I like some of his uh, slogans, you know, like "Word Life" and you, know, "You Can't See Me" and, and his little, you know, signature thing or whatever. But you know, other than that, to me, he's more hype than anything else. He's one of those guys that they want to treat almost like Hulk Hogan. You know, a guy who can barely, I mean, he can wrestle, but, he, you know, but he's more, I don't know, he's more of a better talker than he is actually a wrestler, I guess. But I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But he, he is good at what he does, but, you know, he just kind of, eh. <laughs> I like guys who can actually wrestle, like Bret the Hitman Hart, you know. Lex Luger, Ric Flair. Ric Flair, well, he's, you know, he, he can wrestle, obviously, because he's been in the business forever. 
but his moves are always the same. Guys like Bret Hart, uh, at least Bret Hart in his prime anyway, could wrestle a good match, you know, and, and, it, and the moves would always be the same all the time. It would always be somewhat different. Uh, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, I mean, those guys could wrestle, you know. Now they're getting older, so it's like, you know, they're trying to, to not lose their grip a little bit, but after Scott Hall took some time off from wrestling because of his alcoholic uh, rage or whatever and, and other things that he was in trouble for, he, he ain't as good as he used to be, that's for sure. Uh, so yes, I'm going to be doing a, a review on all my wrestling DVDs. I don't know if it's going to be a review. I'm just going to show you everything that I have, and uh, besides some stuff you guys already know that I have. So other than that, that's about all, all else. Oh, actually, I will let you guys know too that uh, one of the other things that this go that will be going on this summer, at least for this month anyway, is uh, my brother and his girlfriend are actually going to have a kid, a baby here next Friday, which is a week from this coming Friday, and uh, it should be pretty exciting. So I'll give you more details about that as the days get closer. So. We'll see you guys tomorrow for another great Frankie Slauson Show Daily Summer Vlog.